Yep, there are definitely enemies here. Do I want to heal? No, I do not. I actually think it fully healed me after beating him anyway. Go, Ouija. Go, Ouija. Oops. It's sort of annoying how he still uses B in battle, but, meh. I mean... As much as I say how I like splitting up in this game, it is probably simpler to not split up. Because then it doesn't confuse me in battle as much. Even though in Bowser's Inside Story, I just kept trying to use Bowser commands in battle, and I tried... Ah, I'm not going to do any more spoilers of that. I've just got to... Alright, now Luigi continues his steady climb of being super high-leveled more than Mario, because for some reason they forgot to do any Mario-only segments. Until, like, jokes end. Yeah, and pressing B so many times. Whoops, if I hadn't walked, I probably could have still salvaged that. But oh well, they didn't... Eh, ah, tried to press A. Sweet. Wish you could do bros attacks by yourself. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is there. They, I think they're calling for reserves, but there aren't any or something. I don't know. All I remember is call for family, look through your deck for another Q-bone, show the Q-bone to your opponent, shuffle the deck afterwards. And I always thought, why can't you use it for things that aren't as crappy as Q-Bone? Why isn't there like a call for family of uh, Charizard? Okay, so, um... Falcon Hammer... Yeah, I'd say this is one of the few... I mean, I've been fighting these guys for a while, there's not too much to talk about actually in battle. That's one of the disadvantages, but this game still has so much faster battling in, like, Pokemons and stuff would doesn't seem to be impeding my process of less playing it so much. My dumb real life or bad time management skills seem to be the main impediment in my let's playing of this. I would ideally like to get this done by uh, Halloween because I'd like to do Luigi's Mansion for Halloween and then have that done by the time New Super Mario Bros. Wii comes out so I can do that. I don't think Luigi's Mansion should take me very long. That's a pretty short game and I'm, I haven't played through it too many times but it's a pretty short game. I mean, I could see going through one area of the house each recording session, even if it was more than an hour with no real problems and, like, by getting bored or tired. And there are only four sections of the house, if I recall correctly. Yep, that's definitely what that guy was trying to do when he got the ellipsis above his head. Love how pointed that was when there wasn't a Mario there to disable Brothers' attacks for And Oh, come on. Oh, well, at least Luigi's going to get super leveled up. Even though this experience gets less and less as I level up more and more, and then basically they're at the same level again, but whatever. I don't know, I actually don't recall Mario getting completely caught up ever, and wow, what a great attack. Holy crap, why is Luigi such an unfathomable... I mean, the overalls are like steel. Are these guys, Were these guys really that weak in the forest? Oops, I forgot to say some reference to Raddest Forest and the forest by saying, oh, all I do is follow the patterns. Even though, I guess I'm technically coming back there. Okay, I was gonna say, if you could get, I was already, what, like, three extra guys? I mean, I don't mind the experience, and you're horribly weak enemies, but since you're horribly weak, you're not giving me too much experience, and therefore, you're not very useful to me. Okay, so, um, Mario's back here, right? somewhere in this vicinity. Why is there an L on that rock? Am I crazy or is there an L on that rock? Oops. So, why did they ever not use that attack when it's harder to... Okay, so, I'm definitely thinking of another enemy because you can jump on those guys' heads. Even though I don't think... I don't know, hammering might be slightly more powerful than jumping. I think they all use the same stat, but... I really don't know. I never really paid too much attention to the engine of this game, which is a shame because I like paying attention to engines of games, and I like this game, so... It makes logical sense, and I like how that was animating. Is Mario back here? Yes, sweet. Oh no, he's dead. Uh, Mario River rafting. Why does it look like he's going the opposite way the river is flowing? I don't know, I'm probably bad at looking at things. Doesn't look like it's flowing at all except for weird backwards shaded things and 
Oh no, the Chuckola Reserve has been destroyed. I wonder if you could if you could jump to prove you're a Mario brother or at least a toad. Uh I have no idea. I'm going to be much prettier after I drink this chuckle reserve. I mean, I was the first time I did this. I, oh no, it's a belly burp worm. That's a pretty cute belly burp worm. And like, oh, okay, good. Now it's going to turn into a normal looking thing. And oh god, it's a horrible failure. Ah! Oh, that's a truly repugnant yet truly tremendous success. Mean Bean has returned. Ah, that's the hardest I've left in a long, long time. Well done, Lady Lima. No, your highness, it's not I. It's the Mario Brothers whom you think. What don't you think? Mario Spaghetti. Hmm, so Kakalutta stole Princess Peach's voice in the Bean Star? It was my fault! Nonsense, but why would Kakalutta steal the Bean Star and the Princess Peach's voice in the first place? Do, 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 do. The Bean Star is the protector of this land and it has the power to grant any and all desires to prevent such power from using the evil of Bean Star's guys in no deep sleep. That doesn't look like the Bean Star at all. Is that the voice of Great Beauty? That's like the MS Word clip art guy. In this day and age, Princess Peach is the only one who possesses such a voice. So, the reason Kakaletta stole Princess Peach's voice, ah, she must plan to wake the Bean Star and fill all her desires. They forgot to draw Fawful, and there's no anything around here. <laughs> Fear not, I foresaw this desire of hers long, long ago. We are prepared. Caught to caught, we have a better hand than she. <laughs> Perfect timing, Master Mario, Master Luigi, head out to meet Prince Peasley. Okay. So yeah, that was the room masked by a weird monster door, I guess. Yo ho! Why was he just staring that other way? I think they forgot to animate backsprays. Oh. Cheers to Red and Greeny. Thank you for help earlier. Yes, thanks to you. My secret mission is about to pay off. <laughs> oh wait, he did that. I'm, I'm sad now. Prince Peasley, Ruffle, Ruffle, the mission. I really learned the whereabouts of Chuck Lutta. Ha ha ha. Thanks to you. Absolutely. Wow. Southeast of this castle is Woohoo University, our local research institution. Well, by research, it has weird goblins being killed, I think. Crack blood and her underling have just snuck into there, into Woohoo University. Yes, of course, Woohoo University is the perfect place to awaken the bridge stall. I intend to march into Woohoo University right this instant. May we meet again. Yeah, Prince Peasley is basically the best character. I'm gonna be sort of pissed off if he isn't the main antagonist in Wario and Waluigi. Mr. Mario, Mr. Luigi, this may be just friend to recover Princess Peach's voice. I shall inform the locals that you are now passage on the road to Woohoo Home Investing. I'm sure there'll be a wacky cutscene where they don't recognize Luigi on the way. But anyway, I should probably... Yep, um, I would say you can probably skip to the next part, but honestly I have no idea how this is going to end up dividing up once I divide them up. But yeah, I'm going to do some boring shopping, I'm um, not going to be offended if you skip it, but I'm going to record it because, um, I don't know, I'm too lazy to cut it out, basically. I don't really want to stop the recording session 19 minutes in like it is, and that is a weird banana. That is a useless shop too, and that's a weird looking monster. And there's a lot of stuff you can do here, and I'll probably do that, like, after I beat the main game, because I'm too lazy to do it. It's like, oh, fine, my dumb beans. Oh, fine, my dumb bean jewels. Oh, paying too much attention to a place that basically serves as taking too long to find the shop. Okay, there we go.